Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I've got Brie here. It is her very, very first time doing her lips. Um, she talked about, um, well, Brie, what do you want? Um, so I don't want too much, but I know it's only one syringe. Mm -hmm. um, I really just want a little bit here in the edges um, and then kind of just do the border a little bit, just the plumpest. And then do you want the top and the bottom or just the top um, or? Maybe just a little, a little bit, bit in the bottom. bottom. Okay, perfect. So the great thing is today we're using Define and um, Define is a really nice uh, filler for people who want a more natural look um, because it's very elastic and it moves with your face. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And um, Brie numbed with a little bit of lidocaine, a topical, and she promised to tell me if she has any pain. And so what I like to do is I just go right into what we call the vermilion border. And many of you guys have seen me do this before. But this just kind of helps to recreate that little border there. And it just kind of lifts that little corner of the mouth. Laura, I have a question. Sure. Why do um, patients have to hold their mouth kind of partially open? The reason I do that is because if they have their lips really tightly pursed, it's harder to get the filler to go in nice and smooth. And you can see how important it is to have that because you don't want the filler going outside the lip line. That's where they start to have this little bit of a kind of an unusual, you know, um, f fullness in this area. And that's not what we want. We want a natural look. How are you doing so far? Okay. Good, perfect, so she's numb just with topical. And you can kind of even just already see the difference between the two sides. Again, we're just gonna recreate this little border here. And, and she is doing great. Again, go ahead and open up just a little bit for me. And I like to go in in that corner of the mouth there. And sometimes there's just this great little pocket that just pulls that filler right up to the top. And just gets it that pretty little. So usually once I do the um, lip line, then I go in and I do just these very short serial injections in the actual meat of the lip. And so I've only done about 0.3 cc so far, um, and she's looking great. So now one of the things I like to do is I like to just put a little bit in what we call that Cupid's bow there. I'm gonna lean her back. Sorry to move her. And I like to come in from a back angle here. Just kind of go directly in to the middle of the lip. And pull. too much because it's her first time so you know sometimes the first time we get a little bit anxious and wonder if we're doing the right thing and so I want to make sure she's comfortable with what I've done from the front, you doing okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna actually give you a little mirror now so you can see. Look how pretty, Brie has this natural heart-shaped mouth. And just by putting a little bit here, it just feminizes her whole face. Do a little bit more here. Okay, bottom. Yes, it's pretty, isn't it? Cece, can you hand me the mirror behind there? I want Brie to see, because I don't want her to have too much. Um, with, I don't want her to have, feel like we are doing too much. So Brie, have a look. I'm Again, I'm, I did only about 0.7. They're really pretty. Do you feel like they're too full, or are you okay? Do you want a little more, or are you ready to stop here? Okay. 
So we'll save the rest of the filler um, because usually what happens after the swelling goes down, patients will come back and say, you know, I'm ready to put the rest in. Gives us a chance to see how it places. And, um, and she's done. And it's that easy. And that was just topical numbing. So um, if you want to know more about it, you know where to go. It's uh, contourderm.com or you can call us at 760-423-4000. Um, and that's D-Fine for our beautiful Breeze heart-shaped lips. Thanks for joining us.